It's your first job. A little late for a career change, ain't it? Rory, do you want to fix things with your son? Couldn't look him in the eye. Mortgage, back child support, that's on me. Rory, are you sure you've tried everything? Not everything. Give it a loop, give it a loop. I got a once in a lifetime score. You're, the You're the Marine? Yeah. You're the ex con. Yeah, I did time, but you only got to cast aspersions at me, guy. I'm Go. Trying. Good. Stop talking. No alcohol detected. Hi, and welcome back to Real Reviews, where today I'm diving into The Instigators. This is an Apple original film with hopefully a limited cinema release, which stars Matt Damon, Casey Affleck, Michael Sroelberg, Ron Perlman, Toby Jones, Ving Rhimes. Uh, the list is absolutely endless, and to top it all, it's also directed by Doug Lyman. So let's dig into The Instigators and find out what. What all the fuss is about. It's been about a week. The mayor is going to be holding a party on election night. And there's going to be money there, like none of you bums ever seen. It's your first job. I know what I'm doing. A little late for a career change, ain't it? Be 60. Quick question: If I'm giving instructions and they're not doing them, just say I have a gun. What are you doing? Taking notes. Taking notes on a Take criminal conspiracy. Get down on the floor! Get on the floor! Pile him up! You're like six zip ties, genius. I have a gun! <laughs> So essentially, The Instigators is an off-kilter buddy comedy um, with crime elements. You've got Matt Damon playing Rory, who's sort of like a, a, a disillusioned uh, midlife crisis sort of guy. He's divorced. Uh, he owes alimony. He owes back payments. He doesn't want to see his son. He feels guilty. And he falls in with a career criminal called Cobby, played by Casey Affleck. Affleck also partially wrote the script for this, by the way. And the film is produced by uh, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Um, but anyway, the point is they then get into a robbery situation where they're trying to rip off the corrupt Boston mayor, played by Ron Perlman with his sidekick, played by Toby Jones. Um, you've also got Ving Rhymes there as a sort of gun for hire, sort of like off, off the leash um, collaborator with Perlman's mayor. Uh, and you have Michael Strohlberg and Alfred Molina there as I don't know. They're, they're sort of like an odd couple pair of sort of criminal guys. Um, so you've got an incredible cast. You've got quite a convoluted plot. Not to mention you've got uh, Rory's therapist played by Hong Chow there as well. So there's lots going on. But what else is there? How much deeper do we need to dig? Let's find out. Take the money and run. we got to find those guys before the cops do and put them down before they can talk. Everybody in New England is after us. Uh, I gotta speak to you. I really need you right now, Doc. I would be breaking the law. What if I took you hostage? I mean, like, you know, with your permission. What kind of conversation is this? You're gonna love him. Rory, you are driving recklessly. I'm in the middle of a high-speed car chase. Think about the person you want it to be. What kind of person do you want to be? So as it turns out, not very deep at all, because unfortunately the problem with the instigators is that the script isn't the greatest. Um, this is marketed as a comedy, and yet I'll be honest, I didn't really laugh at all. And I really wanted to like this movie because they're really decent actors. It's a really talented cast. And for every reason, on paper, this should be an epic film. It should be easy. It should be a buddy comedy. There should be funny moments. There should be pathos. There should be like some sort of emotional core to Rory's dilemma. But none of that's there. You've just got these sort of like performances which are all good but they all seem to be sort of not really quite connecting and Doug Lyman is he's there he's he's definitely directing the film but it doesn't it doesn't have the same level of, of dynamic sort of um, direction which you would expect from him which is self-evident in films like American Made with Tom Cruise for example um, so for me this is just a huge disappointment and 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 evidently it looks very nice because it's Apple which means it's a huge waste of money as in their money. Um, there's a great story there. There's a great film fighting to get out, but God knows where it went because clearly something got lost in translation. Right, on that note, I'm diving into my rating. You're 
You walk out with me. But I'm their hostage. And their psychiatrist. You're underpaid. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to be giving this a 2 out of 5 on the big old 5 scale because this is a disappointment. It's not quite the Cleveland steamer I'm maybe presenting to you, but it's certainly not great. So on that note, you know why I don't like it because I've already told you. Let's dive into the trailer. Let's move it along. And so it is, you've reached the end of the video review for The Instigators, which is currently streaming on Apple and stars Matt Damon, Casey Affleck, and is directed by Doug Lyman. If you've liked the video, then give me a thumbs up. Failing that, you can always just drop a comment in the comment box below and I will respond. And finally, you can always just subscribe so that every Tuesday and every Saturday when I drop another one of these videos, you get a little notification and you can pop in and watch or listen to as much or as little as you like and then go about your day. In the meantime, check out the rest of the channel and maybe pop over to the Patreon page. Take care. Cheers now.